Hello and welcome back to Gate Gully, a Dwarf Fortress Let's Play from Nearly Enough Dice. We have had a queen turn up. Where is the announcement? Oh, can't find it. Um, Some migrants have decided to make this brave this terrifying place, knowing it may be their tomb. Uh, one of said terrified migrants is my new queen. Hoorah! So, um, it is after I unpause. High time I started working on the royal apartments, which are down here and are encased in a marble. Uh, I'm going to make this a dining room. Enter. I'm going to assign this to the Queen. And so now it's just going to be... You know, let's make the various things... Uh, yeah, I never did get around to making chairs and stuff in steel. Or, nor did I, uh... Oh, no, I've got a bit. I also didn't get around to... Uh, chucking gems on everything, like I probably should have done. Ooh, and I don't have a nice enough table. Oh well. Tables don't really matter. Uh, and I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any... Do, do I have a coffin? I only have ordinary... Oh, I do have a master... But the main thing I'm going to be relying on. Oh, actually, no, there's another thing I do need to check. Right, King, who's actually a queen, never mind. Uh, I haven't set up. So they're all dining rooms done because the table, and there's an artifact table, it's all fine. So, but I do need to take 10. Chests, uh, five cabinets, five uh, weapon racks, and five armor stands. And yeah, I should have made all of these out of steel, but I completely, you know, I was just into the whole. Yeah, you just normally what you do is you make things out of stone. That's just what you do. Uh, wow, I've got a lot of master arm stats. Um, if only I could sort them by material. Actually, I do have some steel arm stats. I have by some, I mean one. Uh, I've got some that I put some gems on, so I'm, I'll use those actually before I use any of the others. So let's put a chunk of steel. Um, oh, I just, uh, in fact, I just did that. That's what I just did. Um, so plop, plop, don't, I'm not going to put any extra decorations in this one because it's already got an artifact table in it. So that's fine. Um, so this is a, ge a decorated uh, masterwork one. Uh, Infinities. That's five arm stands. B -b -b rack, rack. I don't know what I've got in the way of racks. What have I got in the way of racks? Um, I don't know any steel racks. I do have this one. This is quite pretty, but it's only worth 160. Uh, masterful weapon and uh, slate weapon rack uh, created by Dantan Lith. Lila. Object minister with spikes of well-crafted ornament. So, given that it's only made of rock. Still, it's about as good as you're going to get. Um, so I'm going to churn one down there. Actually, I've only done four armor stands. So one, two, three, four. Okay, no mind. Um, well, I'll just fix that by making another. 
I understand here. Um, and I don't have any particularly nice ones, I don't think. I might, might have a masterwork one. And and to be very honest, at this point, if because I don't, I don't, they're not valuable enough to actually add noticeably to the room value. So it almost doesn't matter. But I'll, I'll, it's kind of the principle of the thing. Um, you know, you should you should fill your um, royalties uh, room with as the nicest things you possibly can. Um, the fact that you can't is a bit, you know, irrelevant. I think plus and then star are best. And I'm just assuming that's the case. Because I don't, I don't have any masterwork ones to hand. Uh, armor stands, weapon racks, cabinets. Cabinets are F. I don't know what cabinets have got. It'd be nice if I could sort them by, like, value or something. Um, I think I've only got... Oh, no, I've got steel ones. Steel cabinet. I've lost it already. I had a steel one. I'm sure I saw a steel one. Got so many cabinets. I think, I think part of it, I mean, I did the stupid thing where it's like, I'm going to start selling these. Well, actually, I'm not going to do anything with them because I'm going to, in fact, uh, probably stop playing once I get this. Once I get the the royal apartment sorted and the king and the, the queen happy with it, um, then you know I'm basically going to stop. So let's have a quick look. That's worth twelve hundred. Wow. You've got what I'm doing. Cabinets. Um, well, I might as well just I might as well just grab random cabinets. Wow, I'm suddenly beginning to, to, to wonder whether I'm gonna have enough room to do all these things. Cause my kind of emergency backup plan was to fill the place with statues. Um, I'm wondering whether I'm going to whether I'm going to have room for all that. Wow. Uh, so that's three cabinets. I want another one. Uh, Stick one in here. Now at this point, I must just expand. So the marble ones might be worth a little bit more. Yeah, the marble ones are worth a little bit more. Um, maple wood is worth 120. So if it's masterwork. Plum wood. Why did I make so many out of wood? I don't know what I was thinking. And it's basically pointless, actually, to, to wonder about the value. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, if, if I haven't made them out of... Uh, if I haven't made them out of, out, out of um, steel, then the value is basically irrelevant. Because uh, steel things can go up, you know, 1200, whereas these things are like 120, so there's, the, the steel is at least 10 times more valuable than anything I can actually produce here, so that's fine. Um, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm sure you already know this, but I am an idiot. What I do is I cram this place, which I don't care about, because of the value time. I put all the low value crappy things that don't add enough value. Also, uh, anything that's the, the steel cabinets, 
Right. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Keep the steel cabinet. Keep the steel arm stands. Get rid of the slate weapon rack. Keep the steel cabinet, because they're all adding proper value to this room, so that's all fine and good. Uh, keep, right, remove the slate armor stand. Remove the granite armor stand. Keep the steel cabinets. Get rid of the ilmanite weapon rack. And the shirt weapon rack. Diorite armor stand. Slate armor stand. Plumwood cabinets. Granite weapon rack. Marble rack. And willow cabinet. Get rid of all of those things. And chuck them into this room that I don't care about because it's already sorted. So I can take up as much space as I like here. It's basically so long as there's a there's room but you know from there to there. I can fill this up with all the junk that they insist on. And everything's just gonna be dandy. Uh so I've forgotten what what are those? Those are cabinets, so I need to put three cabinets in here. Cabinets are F. Build F. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go for the masterwork ones, because it just feels the right thing to do. Um, but I can just chuck all the stuff. Doop, 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 doop. But I can put them all in here, and they'll, they'll, all, they'll count towards... Um, Oh no, I don't need to do that one. I only needed two of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So how many weapon racks do I've got? I've got a weapon rack. No, that's an armor stand. I have zero armor, uh, weapon racks. Let's go weapon racks. Uh, did I not have any steel weapon racks? Apparently I did not. Um, so even though um, I absolutely do not need um, particularly good weapon racks at this stage, in terms of making the room valuable and thus making it acceptable for royalty, I'm going to give them the best weapon racks I can find anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Scrolling through menu items, it's the most fun you can have on YouTube. And one more. One more. Yeah, I think this is a much better way of doing things. And that way, I'm going to have much, you know, tons of room to put very nice, valuable statues, of which I have a few. Uh, so that's. Er, what are those things again? Those are cabinets. Those are weapon racks. So, armor stands, of which I've got one already. Armor stands are apparently musical instruments. Um, I was get these very pretty ones. Do I have do any others? That's all we got. There you go. One. Oops. That's, there we go. Uh, uh, I'll fill up the walls first. Um, so I need one more. I don't know if you can walk over an armor stand. I don't. I don't know if it blocks movements, but I'm going to pretend that it. Uh, uh, assume that it does, just in case. Um. Oh, there we go. There's the master one. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't, don't think I'm going to, to fit the ten chests in here. Uh, although I'll, I'll probably, if I've got steel chests, yeah, I can distri distribute the steel chests around. Um, right, so, uh, weapon racks times five. Um, cabinets, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's down two chests now. Chests are each. Let's see what I've got. Um, I do have at least, I have one steel chests. So they won't go here. Um, see, this thing's only worth 140, and this is nothing. And that's decorated in a masterwork in Tumsdale. Uh, so I'll put some chests in here. Um, oops. H. Uh, I 
Wait, did I just put a steel chest in here? No, I didn't. No, no I did not. Uh, I will put a steel chest here. By A, I mean the steel chest. That's worth 1,200. Just, just sitting there, it's worth 1,200. Um, God, 10 chests. Uh, yeah. Why do you need so many chests? God damn it. Stupid queen. Um, won't give you bags, but you, yeah, I've got lots of masterwork chests here. By, by lots, I mean a couple. <laughs> Spare because I'm going to put it in a chair, so they've got a chair with it anyway. Um, I'm fairly sure you can clamber over a chest. I don't. I don't think it even counts as. Uh, oh, there's one with. There's a pretty. There's a pretty one. So I'm going to have to put some in other places, but that's alright. completely lost count of how many I've put down so far. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm not too far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, dearie me. Couldn't get to masterwork pigtail fiber bags. Which I believe actually do count, but you know. That's worth 150, wow. Oh, no, what do I do? There we go. That's 208. Why is that 280? Made for picked up a cloth muscle. I have no idea why it's more. Because the other, there was another one which was masterful, I thought. Um, give the chair for the dining room. Uh, I think that's going to be the best one. Right, so, uh, how many chests have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. And so we will therefore put a chest in the bedroom. What the hell? Oops. BH. Container. Uh, do I have any masterwork things left? Give you a masterwork bag. Oh no, no masterwork things left. Sad. I'm afraid Her Majesty's just gonna have to deal with something that's quite good. Um, it's toward 20. So I think that's. Oh no, wait, hang on. Oh wow. are really quite valuable. Um, Q. Make bedroom. Assign. Who's queen? Uh, is this being? This is being burialed. May, being burialed. Make tomb. Assign tomb. Queen! Uh... done yet, so let's have a quick look at our king slash queen. Uh, right, so yeah, some of some um, because oh, okay. I was about to say, because this dining room doesn't exist yet, but it does now. So that should make our queen a bit happier. There we go. So these remaining uh, cabinets and stuff should, will come online as the other rooms get furniture added to them. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, so the dining room is done. Grand Mausoleum needs some like statues or something. Uh, 
Got enough chests because they're all in one place, pretty much. And a couple of caverns and some arm stands, but that's fine. Now, I, what I'm interested in, I don't know. Um, actually, I have a great many steel statues. Uh, oh, probably not. Do I even do I even have enough? Uh, how much is that worth? Three thousand. Okay. Um. Very variable. Um, 3,000, there we go. Uh, statue. How much are these? 2,250. Three, two, 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 3,7. Oh, ooh. Looks like I was wrong about... Um, Right, so that should... I might need to start making more statues. Eek. Now, the question is, does the king immediately notice that? I, so I don't know whether, um, you know, it's Grand Mausoleum, but those items haven't actually been moved in yet, so I don't know if they count towards the value until they're there. And I should probably, really, if I'm doing this sensibly, is only move one statue at a time. I don't know how much these engravings were, because they've got quite a lot of um, the, the engravings. You know, a lot of really nicely engraved bits of marble. Because um, these were, you know... These were engraved by uh, master, master engravers. Engraved on the wall is a masterly designed image of Olin and Cutter test gates the dwarf and dwarves by Logam Uzolishen. The dwarves are refusing Olin Cutter test gates. Olin Cutter test gates is making plaintive gesture. Their artwork re relates to the removal of the dwarf Olin Cutter test gates from the position of captain of the guard of the new gates in the early autumn of 135. So, I mean, I do have quite a few of these, you know, yeah, nice, very nice um, engravings. I don't know how much they're worth. Um, so they're engraved on marble, so it's all, you know, a massively designed image of a narrow crescent. There you go. I guess he wasn't feeling all that um, enthused that day. On the wall is a massively designed image of Pesa G Guild Alley, the Wisp of Mornings, the human and Zuntier clasped page, the dwarf, by Logan Uzisholem. Zuntier clasped page is striking down Pesa Guild Alley, the Wisp of Mornings, the hour of relation, the killing of the human Pesa Guild Alley, the Wisp of Mornings, by the dwarf, Zuntier clasped page, in the hills of conflagration in 92. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know. Uh, the rooms themselves, I need to get each room up to 10,000, and I don't know if the value is... How the hell do I have 13 idlers? I should not have 13 idlers. There's a whole bunch of furniture hauling to do, and a lot of idling going on. Uh, let's go by migration wave. Collapse all. Oh my lord, I got 19 folk this time around. Some of which weren't children. A couple of babies. That's not too bad. Err, you crushed hang. Well, okay, I got a bunch of idlers because they don't seem to have jobs at the minute. It's possible that um, they actually haven't turned up yet. They're all they're all still um, counting. Yeah, the, the, a bunch of them are new arrivals. That's why. Um, so they're going to head down to the dining room. Okay. So yeah, the the the, the number of idlers is going down very rapidly uh, as they head down to the dining room and kind of stand around and going, "Hey, when you," and everyone goes, "Hello." 
Get to work, you lazy ass. Oh, I've got ghosts. Oh, God, I've got ghosts. Oh, no, this is the worst thing. I'm not. I'm kind of panicking for comic effect, really, with more than anything else. Alt F S. Ghost! Add. Oh, uh, mm, I might need to actually place the slab that's built all this slab. I think I've, yeah, I think there's a ghost I know. Someone's got a task for that, possibly moving it from here to here, uh, and that's why it's not available to be built at the moment. Uh, aggravating, but what can you do? Um, oh, I should check my new folk. I don't want anybody doing anything ir irritating like hunting and fishing. Uh, because they're, they're, they're just completely pointless. So, animal care, no trapping. Oh, didn't quite sneeze, good, good, good. Um, where's fishing? No fishing, I want no fishing. That'll do the London. I should go through and, and, and sort that, but uh, not just yet. I do have some coffins, but I should probably cut down on the number of uh, furniture hauling jobs that I want done, given that I've just issued a whole shed load to um, set up the Royal Apartments. <laughs> it looks like somebody died at this point. Bunch of forbidden stuff, I wonder why it's all forbidden. <laughs> Well, I suspect it's forbidden because somebody died, and when they die, their stuff gets forbidden to stop uh, dwarves immediately rampaging out into a combat zone. Uh, so there's that. Right, I wonder if I want to have uh, a s another stone detailer. I already have two, and I don't, I don't have anyone else with any actual experience in it, so... Uh, just leave it there, I guess. I guess. How many doors do I have now? Fifty-three, that's loads. Back up to a quarter of what we had at the height of Gate Gully's glory. Um, glory might not be the right word. <laughs> glory may well not be the right word. Um... I just cancelled something that I probably didn't want to cancel. But it got put back on because it's it was set up under uh, workflow. Hurrah! Q. Uh, construct. Oh, that's interesting. View uh, uh. job. Um, Z. Oh, no, B. Well, I'm not going to actually enforce that one, because um, I think that must have been suspended for quite some time. Hmm. Ah, uh, right, now, who owns these places? So that's the mayor's one. So I should probably, because I got... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to... Sorry, sorry Mayor, I'm going to have to turf you out. Uh, where's the... I thought I had a Baron. Oh, the King Consul. Okay. Uh, a 
okay, no, I think, uh, no, okay, the Baron's fine, because the Baron is, in fact, the, the, the Queen Consort, so, um, what she has counts as what he has, and so that's fine, I think, uh, let's quickly check that again, uh, uh, uh. Uh, so, oh, they don't have, a, uh, their tomb doesn't count, that's interesting. So the tomb looks like it may have to be separate. Uh, which I suppose is reasonable. Um, I've got a couple of spare tombs, so. but I'm hoping that when the I can make this when I can make that to an office then I can uh, do that um, Q construct so it's all oh search so thing yes Yeah, I've got uh, eight million cabinets to to put in, so that's going to take a while. Yeah, so that's going to take a little bit. Uh, okay, so these seem to have been done. Furniture hauling a uh, go-go is pretty much all I can, I can kind of wait for at this stage. Um, do, 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 do. Quickly check things on the wiki. I'm pretty sure it's ten grand I need. So yeah, if need be, I can go a bit mad. I've got some mechanisms I can use. I think I've got some artifact mechanisms, maybe, which I may already have, I may have just randomly used because I, I wasn't really paying attention to, to mechanisms. Um, yeah, I could really do with those being put in. Um, specifically that chair, because that'll make it to an actual throne room. I don't need that table. Why do I need a table? Get rid of that. Um, it's a throne room. Uh, I'm just going to build some stat. No, I'm not going to build some statues. I'm going to leave the statues of what I'm going to do. Uh, I seem to be paused for some reason. Yeah, cool. Uh, oh, horrified eek. Actually, that's another furniture hauling job that I've just signed, but what can you do? Ooh, look! My quantum stockpile for ammunition is working a treat. And that's taking from that stockpile there. Oh, yeah, dead happy with that. So that should en enable them to grab bits of ammunition that is uh, loitering around the fortress and the quantum. They should all end up in a big pile there. 
which will be grand. And of course, it's also generating tons and tons and tons of jobs, which actually mean that certain things that I want to get done aren't going to get done. So, hurrah! And I've just realised yet another thing, which is that construction tends to go in a first in, last out kind of. Last in, first out. Specifically, last in, first out. In other words, the last construction job you place is the first one to get done. So, had I been a bit more clever about it, and in fact, I could do this now, but I'm not going to. Uh, if I, could, I could, in theory, go down here to the Royal Apartments and just remove that and uh, place it again. And I said I wasn't going to do it, and, and uh, clearly I am. Um, set that slightly back. And what have we, what have we got here? Well, that's worth 40, that was worth 50. That may be it, that's as best as you're going to get, because I never did get around to making a better throne. So that should actually now put it up to the, f the front of the... Um, construction queue because I want to set that to be a room as soon as possible oh somebody is fishing no one should be fishing I don't want anyone fishing fishing is bad and wrong it shouldn't be allowed I thought I'd cleared away all the fishing people fishing there should be no one fishing no one should be fishing Oh, there's people fishing. Good God. How did I not see that? No fishing. Oh, if I've been clever, of course, okay, I, I could just undersign. No fishing. Um, I'll make sure it's done for hunting as well. Undersign. Okay, nothing came up. Undersign. Nothing came up. That's fine! No fishing. I want people doing all sorts of other things, and fishing is really not one of them. Oh, uh, dearie me, with 50 dwarves, I might even be able to think of some kind of military only once I get my, my nobles settled. Um, I'm not going to be worrying too much. I mean, basically, once I get the... If I get the, the queen happy with her apartments, then... Everything will be sorted as far as I'm concerned, and that's going to be me retiring Gay Gully. But it would help if I could get the furniture hauled. Um, okay, to Dwarf Therapist again. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, collapse all, and open up the latest migration wave. So, what I'm going to do is basically. Uh, uh, it's, uh, So I don't want to just turn off animal hauling. I want to turn off animal hauling for everyone in, in this. Tog hauling for a right. So I can toggle all of hauling. Which is not what I want. I just want to toggle... Oh, I can do that. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so animal hauling, uh, burial, food hauling. Food hauling, yes! Uh... Item hauling. Pushable vehicles. So we just. Just item hauling, please. Um, yeah. Won't go quite to the level of. Um, oh no! What are you mandating, you horrible thing? Rings. Oh no! Rings are a pain in the bottom! So I don't think you can make rings. You would ask for something irritating, wouldn't you? Flickering metal. What do I get flickering metal from? Um, okay, you sod. Um, oh, yes. Sweary words. Uh, okay, let's just turn off. Won't group or anything. Uh, I've got some stone crafters. 
Uh, do I have any bone crafters? Look at a glass crafter. Basically, I'm, 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 I'm deciding bone crafting would be actually the sensible thing if I've got any bone carvers. I don't have any bone carvers. Well, I've got stone crafters. It's fine. Um, doop, 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 doop. So, uh, F5, up one. Find my crafts workshop. Add new task. Rock. Now, what are my choices here? I'm hoping I can do this. Uh, da, 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 da. Shift S. So shift A to add now. Ring. Right, I can make rings. I don't want any material. And uh, the range two to three. Yes. Ah, that's aggravating, because I already have a ton. Um, oh, you horrible, horrible creature. Um, right, so I want two more than I've got. So I want 30 to 31. Of course I've got tons, because I've got lots of crafts and stuff. It does mean that the only thing they can really do is is create... Um, crafts, and, and desperately hoping that, that they end up being rings. And that's assuming in my stone crafters even... Uh, yeah, it's assuming that they actually start crafting stuff out of stone. Um, there's a lot of stuff that he's done. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is my my cunning. Um, hey, let's make. Um, oh, that's uh, my my cunning. Let's let's make. Uh, Lots of you know, make room to put all my ammunition it means that now there's eight million ammunition moving jobs. Um, so I guess it's my own goddamn stupid fault. Uh, I'm getting some Morians cut. I should probably turn that off because um, I don't really care about Morians getting cut. Oh. That's interesting. That was that's one of the is that one of the elves who just never could get out of just never got around to leaving. Berserk cow. There is a berserk cow. Uh, what was that? What was the thing here? One elf merchant has gone loco. Well, I can't go to the location. Where's my cursor? Oh, so they've actually gone berserk right there. Um. Woodcutters, we are going to station you here. Now, if any violence does happen to occur, now you notice I'm not initiating violence. I'm not. I'm not issuing a kill order. Yeah, you notice that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. So therefore, should any violence occur, it won't be my fault. I think it's the water buffer that's berserk, and the elf is just unhappy. Um. So that's all right, I guess. Oh, you see, now the elf has now dumped all their stuff 
here. Uh, all this grown date palm stuff. Um, so I guess that's that's all now mine. Um, yeah. So there you go. And interestingly, they show up. I think it's showing up as as brown here, which I believe means that it is considered to belong to me. Um, in a way that, that might not otherwise do it. So this elf, for some reason, it's a very odd that merchants have been having difficulty getting out of here, actually leaving the fortress. Um, because this is the second set of merchants that just went... I mean, the cow's gone berserk, not the merchant. The merchant's just very unhappy. Um, but now, so now they're leaving again, so hopefully they're, they're going to, to head off the, the top of the screen. Which is not that far away. Um, but that is the second time I've had merchants sufficiently stuck for a sufficiently length, a long, you know, sufficiently length, sufficient length of time uh, that they've gone crazy. And that's uh, kind of fascinating. Uh, due to plant fiber coat. I, mean, I think they're dropping more stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, they're dropping, they're, they're dropping stuff all over the place. This might be the elf taking their clothes off because they're, they're just so unhappy. Uh, they they do that from time to time. Uh, unhappy people uh, very often just just take off all their clothes. Um, what a bizarre thing. See, I thought that might be a bit, uh, that was a bit worrying when you, when you see somebody go berserk. It's all a bit. Yeah, so somehow, some, uh, I think what's happened is someone got interrupted by the cow in that they saw, in their line of sight, they saw something that's gone berserk and is thus uh, technically an enemy. Um, and so they've gone, ah, I'm scared! Running around babbling. Naked. Naked but wet. Wet naked elves. Uh, if that's your sort of thing, that's what's just happened. And let's have a little, let's look at the buffalo. I'm not in a berserk rage. And obviously isn't covering any also wet, but I'm, I'm, if if you're interested in wet water buffalo, I worry about you greatly, quite frankly. Oh no, there's another one. There's another nuts they're both unhappy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Um your own stupid fault. I don't know why they've not been able to get out of the fortress. Well, not even not able to. They're able to get out of the fortress. I don't know why they keep coming back and getting lost. They're mental. And so that's it. This is, I think, a specific, another list of things. No, this is no. This is just standard trading stuff. Although no, no. This all this uh, fire clan grown buckets. I wouldn't have got any of those. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's all crazy mad. Uh, I'm going to quickly check my Baron's mandate. No, it's still going on. See, one of the irritating things is like, I can't just designate to make rings. I have to make crafts. Some of those crafts are rings, so I just have, they're going to make tons of crafts. Which, on the one hand, is nice, because I have lots of crafts to sell. Uh, on the other hand, is really aggravating, because... Um, I'm going to have to make lots of crafts, which, you know, it's going, to, it's going to take up time and effort on behalf of my dwarfies that I may not wish to do. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. Um, I can make this into a throne room. I can assign this to the queen. I can go, N -n -n. so... The, the queen, who now has everything. I just need to make... The mausoleum is brilliant, so it's just the throne room needs to go from opulent to royal. Uh, where is that? From opulent to royal. Uh, oh, it's, so it's uh, not too much, actually. So... 
maybe two statues, maybe a little bit more. And the grand bedroom, uh, so that the, the bedroom also needs to get up one. Um, so the grand bedroom just needs to get up one, so... Right, I think I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that until next time. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you've liked the, watching this video, please hit like. If you've liked it a lot, please hit subscribe. Um, and you can also find our role-playing game themed podcast and blog at www.nearlyenoughdice.com. And I hope you join me next time. This is, the next time is going to be my 100th episode of Gate Gully. Um, good lord. And possibly the last one, if I can get everybody happy, then it's going to, I'm going to end it on the 100... I would like to end it kind of on the 100th episode and also with uh, my queen installed in a royal apartment that they're happy with. And that's going to be the end. So uh, I hope you join me for that. I have to decide what to do after that. I hope you join me for that. And in the, in the meantime, have yourselves a very royal dwarfy day.